Hi you guys, happy Wednesday. Um, I know I just did a book review Sunday, and I know I usually just do one like once a week or maybe like, you know, once every like eight days or something. But I have another one today, and it is called, it is on Unwanted by Christina Olsen. And I would just like you guys to take a second and just look at this cover. Like, look at the detail in this cover. Like, wow, like, look at those shoes. What is that, blood? Is that blood on those shoes? What? Wow. This is, this just looks like a mystery book, does it not? And it is. If you guessed that, you guessed right, because that is what this book is about. And um, it's pro it's about 360 pages. I think it was like 357 maybe. And I started it on Sunday right after I finished Cinder. And my mom had just recently read it, and she said that she really, really, really liked it. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to read it too. Like, it looks awesome. And then I saw the cover, and I was like, there's no way that I'm not, not reading this. Like, it looks awesome. So, um, this is a adult, sorry, my laptop's up here, and I'm, I emailed myself my notes for my phone, so I'm just going to be looking up there a lot. But um, this is a adult mystery, like, murder, crazy book. And it's in insanely graphic, so if you're not into that, then I would just click out now because I'll be talking about some things that may be disturbing to some people. So again, it is an adult book. Um, I would not recommend it if you don't like blood or murder or anything like that. So yes, let's get started. Before I get started, just one more thing. I just want to talk about how there are an insane amount of characters in this book. I um, recommend if you're going to read this, either like just take a list, like make a list of every single character that the author introduces because most of them are all really, really, really important. So yes, make a list because that's what I did and good thing that I made a list because what she does is like you'll be reading and you'll be reading like a paragraph and then it'll just stop, go to another character, stop go to another character. You can have one chapter and she'll go to like, you know, maybe four different characters' point of views. Now this is not bad and it was not confusing. The only confu confusing thing of it would be like if you didn't take notes and you're like, who is this character? I don't remember. That type thing. So yeah, take some notes. But, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just looking. Alright, um, so here it goes. So this takes place in Sweden. And I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the towns that the author talks about in the book because I don't speak Swedish or anything, so yeah. Uh, but they're not really important, so except one, but I'll talk about that. Alright, so the story starts off with a mom and her daughter on a train going to um, a town that's like about an hour away from where they live. And um, the mom's name is Sarah. And the daughter's name is Lillian. And if I remember correctly, I think Lillian is four. Um, so they're on the train and they're going to the town and um, Lillian falls asleep and Sarah receives a phone call. And the train stops um, to pick up more passengers and the train conductor said, we will be stopped here for 10 minutes. So Sarah's like, oh, okay, I'll go make a phone call then so I don't wake Lillian. So she gets off the train to make her phone call and um, some lady walks up to her and she's like, please, please help me. My dog is like spazzing and having a seizure. Can you please help? And Sarah, being the nice lady that she is, is like, yeah, sure, I'll help you. Well, it was a trick and her daughter got kidnapped while she was on the train. And then the train took off while Sarah's still on the platform. So she's calling the train. She's like, please you, my daughter's on the train. Um, I'll take a taxi cab to the next train stop. Just please keep an eye on her. And the train conductor's like, ma'am, your daughter's not on here. Like, we're looking and she's not here. So it's really sad. Um, she gets abducted. And the first three pages of this book are intense. I don't know why I just opened it to show you guys. It's not like you can read it. I, I don't know. Just for effect. But the first three pages are from the killer's point of view. And that is the only um, part in this book that is from his point of view. And the first three pages, you find out it's a boy. It's a man, actually. And he had a very 
seriously traumatizing childhood. And um, he's very mentally um, damaged and needs psychiatric help. And he thinks that um, his mom is coming back to haunt him and blaming him for her death. Because when she gave birth to him, she died. And she caused him these terrible things. Just, I'm not even going to repeat them. And he's just so, like, she calls him a worthless abortion. Like, all of these things. It's, it's really bad. But some of the stuff that she calls him, like, you infer as the reader, like, maybe why he's doing what he does. Like, killing these children that he kills. So, um, there's three main cops. There's Frederica, Peter, and Alex. And, um, they're, like, the three main point of views that, like, hip-hop through the story. But, so, a few days pass, and they're all looking for little Lillian, and she shows up at a hospital in a town called, I'm gonna try to say it, Yuma, it looks like. It's U-M-E-A. Um, so I'm guessing it's Yuma. It's about two hours away from the town that Sarah is currently living in, and Lillian is found, um, in the hospital parking lot in Yuma with the word unwanted scribbled on her forehead, hence the title of this book. Um, so it's scribbled unwanted. She was shaved and she was laying on the floor in the parking lot. And after this happened, the killer sent her clothes and some of her hair back to the mom. And the mom went crazy, obviously, because she just lost her kid. And that's just really, really disgusting. I don't know why someone would do that. Um, so they're trying to find the killer. They're trying, they're like, does anyone hate you? Like, do you know of anyone that dislikes you? And she's like, well, I was in an abusive past relationship with Lillian's father, but we don't talk that much anymore. So the police are trying to find him. He's hiding. They never find him. Um... And they go to his work, and they search his computer, and they find some disgusting images concerned with children. So they're like, okay, well, clearly he has um, a sick side to him, and maybe, you know, he could possibly have killed her. So they're trying to find him. They're interviewing all these people, when in reality, they're not paying attention, and another baby, an infant, who's only one, gets taken. And she um, gets taken from her adoptive parents, and she is found, I think he did this one fast, I want to say a day. And she was found in the mother's um, house that she grew up in, that bathtub. And she also had unwanted scribbled in her head. And he had shaved off the little hair that she had and um, put her in the bathroom. So everyone's going crazy. This guy's This guy is like obviously insane. And as a reader, you follow his accomplice named Janella. And she's about 16 years old, very, had a very terrible childhood, went into prostitution, nobody liked her, like nobody loved her. She had no more family, you know what I mean? And that's kind of why the killer took her on. But you guys, this book is so, oh, sorry, I have to sit down, I'm like so uncomfortable. This book is extremely fast paced. The ending was like, wholly ridiculous. I was so like, no way. No way. And as a reader, like, you you figure out about, like, 60 pages left of the book why he's doing what he does. Oh, my God. I, five out of five stars. This is Christina Olsen's first book. So much praise to this writer. So much praise. If you're, like, into this whole mystery and stuff, like, I would, I would get this. Um... It's hardcover. It's brand new. We paid $25 for it, um, so it's kind of more on the expensive side. I don't think she has paperback out just yet. I'm sure you can find it on the Nook or the Kindle, but you guys, this book was like one of the best books I've read this year. It was really disturbing, and I usually don't read books like this, but as I told you in the beginning, like the cover just like totally captivated me, and I was like, all right, I need to read it. But Oh my gosh, it's I cannot stress enough how good this book is. And the ending wasn't that bad. Uh, my mom didn't really like the ending, but she ha she reads a lot more like of this genre of books than I do, so she knows a little bit more about them, but I loved it. So it was so good, and the ending is like so like 
oh my god, like crazy, goes out with a bang, like everything. So yeah, again, this is called Unwanted by Christina Olsen. Um, yeah, so you guys should definitely check it out. Hope you're having a good week, and I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.